I'm trapped behind a school bus and a car that is identical to mine. You might see it there. So basically, we've you know I've got the school bus, and I've got another guy who's also in the same droid box as I am, and we're just droiding along, thinking that we're individuals. And then when you see someone pull up beside you with the same car and the same coat and the same jacket on and the guy's name is the same name and you think, well, <laughs> am I really an individual? Listen, people, forget the whole individual thing. Get on with the group thing. You know what I mean? What can you do for your neighbor? I said once, you know, go ahead and do something today for your wife or your brother or your uncle, whoever, you know, do something. Send someone an email for the love of God, you know, Facebook, a friend. Say hello for the love of God, or whatever you want to do, you know what I mean? You know, you slow down, you let someone cross the street, you give them a smile, you know? I don't know what it's going to take. You know, it's gray days, I'm driving under the bridge here. It could be anywhere in North America right now, just driving in this urban city. smells like trains, buses, and, you know, dog crap, and, you know, goose feathers. It's just, it's just terminal. It's just a cesspool. We live in a cesspool. You ever thought about that? We live in a cesspool. I've heard that we're basically covered with E. coli because we don't wash our hands. And I think it's fair to say, you know, I mean, uh, there, E. coli in the mouth. That's what it's going to take. I will do it. If it's just E. coli in the mouth that we have to do, I will do it. <laughs>